And it's going to be looking good. We've got uh, some patchy fog that's possible in Cache Valley, also along the Wasatch Back. Otherwise, a few clouds along the spine of the mountains and uh, east into southwest Wyoming, parts of northeast Utah. But those are gradually going to be thinning out. Otherwise, uh, fair skies across the state, and we're going to have a lot of sunshine today because of high pressure that's building in over the interior west. That's drying us out as we're between storms. In fact, we'll get a little weather system that will brush by to our north uh, tomorrow, but a uh, bigger storm that will have a, a more of an impact will be arriving by the end of the weekend. We'll show you that in just a second. Today, it'll be sunny along the Wasatch Front, mostly sunny anyway, with a breeze out of the south, and our temperature will climb up to uh, 44 this afternoon. So uh, you might not need as heavy of a jacket as you had earlier this week. It'll be 29 in Evanston, as well as Vernal. It'll be 38 in Park City. Most valleys will be in the 40s, 58 for a high temperature expected in St. George. And then tonight, we'll hang on to clear skies tomorrow, just about perfect weather for Valentine's Day, at least in St. George. It'll be sunny with a high of 60. You'll make it into the low 60s on Saturday and Sunday, but by Sunday night into Monday, you'll get some rain in St. George, while other higher valleys and mountains of the south will get uh, some snow, or at least a rain snow mix. And then behind that weather system, it will be cooler on President's Day. Uh, temperature will drop into the low 50s by then, with morning temperatures early next week in St. George dropping down into the mid-20s. And for northern Utah tomorrow, it's going to be partly cloudy with a breeze out of the south that will warm us up near 50. Pretty mild on Saturday as well, uh, but rain will be likely in the valleys on Sunday. That will change over uh, entirely to snow Sunday night into Monday, so uh, some snow possibly accumulating on President's Day with a high temperature by then only climbing up into the mid-30s.